Angela's Airplane Story by Robert Munch, Art by Michael Marchenko, to Candy Christensen. Angela's father took her to the airport, but when they got there, a terrible thing happened. Angela's father got lost. Angela looked under airplanes and on top of airplanes and beside airplanes, but she couldn't find him any place. So Angela decided to look inside an airplane. She saw one with an open door and climbed up the steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, right to the top. Her father was not there and neither was anyone else. Angela had never been in an airplane before. In the front, there was a seat that had lots of buttons all around it. Angela loved to push buttons, so she walked up to the front, sat down in the seat, and said to herself, It's okay if I push just one button. Don't you think it's okay if I push just one button? Oh, yes, it's okay. Yes, 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 yes. She slowly pressed the bright red button. Right away, the door closed. Now, Angela had to do something, so she said to herself, It's okay if I push just one more button. Don't you think it's okay if I push just one more button? Oh, yes, it's okay. Yes, 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 yes. Slowly, she pushed the yellow button. Right away, the lights came on. That was no help at all. So Angela said, it's okay if I push just one more button. Don't you think it's okay if I push just one more button? Oh, yes, it's okay. Yes, 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 yes. She pushed the green button. Right away, the motor came on. Vroom. Angela said, yikes, and pushed all the buttons at once. The airplane took off and went right up into the sky. When Angela looked out the window, she saw that she was very high above the ground. She didn't know how to get down. The only thing to do was to push one more button. So she slowly pushed the black button. It was the radio button. A voice came on the radio and said, bring back that airplane, you thief, you. Angela said, my name is Angela. I'm five years old, and I don't know how to fly airplanes. Oh, dear, said the voice. What a mess. Listen carefully, Angela. Take the steering wheel and turn it to the left. Angela turned the wheel and very slowly the airplane went in a big circle and came back right over the airport. Okay, said the voice. Now pull back on the wheel. Angela pulled back on the wheel and the airplane slowly went down to the runway. It hit once and bounced. It hit again and bounced. Then one wing scraped the ground. Right away, the whole plane smashed and broke into little pieces. Angela was left sitting on the ground, and she didn't even have a scratch. All sorts of cars and trucks came speeding out of the terminal. There were police cars, ambulances, fire trucks, and buses, and all sorts of people came running. But in front of everybody was Angela's father. He picked her up and said, Angela, are you all right? Yes, said Angela. Oh, Angela, he said, the airplane is not all right. It is in very small pieces. I know, said Angela. It was a mistake. Well, Angela, said her father, promise me you will never fly another airplane. I promise, said Angela. Are you sure, said the father. Angela said very loudly, I promise, I promise, I promise. But Angela didn't keep that promise because when she grew up, she didn't become a doctor. She didn't become a truck driver. She didn't become a secretary and she didn't become a nurse. She became an airplane pilot. The end.